<sighs> this life is so tough, isn't it? But I promise we're not in it alone. <laughs> You've got no reason to live. Your heart's been replaced by a void. And I know you're searching for a helping hand. So darling, let us make a deal. Good luck, Riptide Pirates. Previously in the Black Sea, the encounter against Captain Widow and her crew reached a devastating climax. Chip, who had been thrown and knocked unconscious, was given a fate worse than death as the captain swallowed his heart, binding his soul. Though the three of you had proved successful against Gardak, it took great fortune in the form of three restorative marbles to find the victorious light at the end of a dark, dark tunnel. Taking a massive gamble with Chip's life, Gillian struck one of the hearts in Captain Widow's body with critical divine radiance, and the battle was over and, mostly, survived. Zomi and Star reunited. Alongside Igneous, they asked you to find them again at the hideout underneath the Egg Village. Chip crawls into a secluded corner in the next chamber over, and asks the compass to show the way to life again. It leads him through the beating sack, into a space of endless red. Coming before an incomplete vessel, its heart ripped out and held by a familiar tiefling. And so the journey continues. We follow the group of survivors and your new friends as they walk through their former home, the Daphne Palace, now covered in black webs and decayed corpses. Nearly every room, ransacked, they sneak past some lingering hollow that perhaps died doing what they loved here in the palace, and thus continued to do so after death. We see Ignis and Zamia recognize the plates of armor lying deactivated by um, the amulet Gillian found, as the group pushes through the massive entryway doors for the first time in so many years. The momentum carries us high near the peak of the towering palace, stopping at the three stained glass windows that reflect the bright light from the sky above. Even in this lifeless sea, a storm begins to brew. We move past the windows back into the throne chamber where Gillian, Jay, Griffin, and Queen await ship to return. Gillian and Jay, you just kind of like sit up against one of the walls near the hole that uh, Jay uh, exploded with the cannon. Um, oh, we just saw Chip go into the egg, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we just saw him go into the egg, yeah. Zacked up. So should we, I mean... I feel like we maybe should, because that doesn't, that doesn't seem right. Like going right? into the egg, I mean, that, we were talking about maybe putting him in the egg. So maybe, maybe this will help him, because I mean, I'm looking at this dead body with chips hard in it and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm worried that like the egg is a whole new thing where we're gonna like let him get absorbed and turned into 
you know, like, we don't really know what's going on. So I feel like maybe we make our way towards the egg. And if he comes out before we, you know... Before we get there, then we're all good with the egg. But if not, maybe we continue our path yeah. into the egg. Thoughts? Uh, like, going go into the egg with Chip? or uh, He's gone into the egg. But, like, maybe we should just reach our hand and try to grab him I out. just feel around? Yeah, I mean, like... It's, it's a pretty big, big egg. Okay, yeah, it's a little big. Yeah, okay. okay so why but... don't we... We'll, we'll make our way over there. We'll reach... In a non-threatening way, and like if he's doing something, it'll will be nonchalant about it. We reach inside the egg. I can just like send him a message. Okay, do that. Let him know we're making our way towards the egg, <laughs> and like that's, but not because of anything he did, and that we might be going in. <laughs> okay, so we might come in. Should but we not? Be, first? Again, be cool about it. Jay, as he's talking, <laughs> you start to see on his face this red line, or or or. or bluish bluish green whatever fucking color of blood he has this this line start to open up the slit open up in his skin and then you start to feel this like weight all at once begin to crush your own spine and then Gillian psh, all these wounds on your body begin to open up and spray out and the same for you Jay and the two of you <laughs> what? <laughs> like you just drop and you feel this immense amount of pain what the fuck is that what those things did <laughs> They just like temporary got, oh, got rid of our dude, fucking wounds, dude. and now they're. Oh <laughs> shit! I probably like yeah. I mean my my fucking blood vessels explode. I look down, shaky, and collapse probably. I Jay, mean, I think that was fucking meth rage. Fuck! Oh, <laughs> Jay, you took one of the marbles. Gillian, you took two. Certainly <laughs> did. Temporarily, you both are stunned. Jay, oh. you have two points of exhaustion. Gillian, you have four. Oh. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh. Gillian and Exhaustion, name a better fucking pair, dude. It happens all the time. Oh, That's rough, dude. What's four uh, give you? I half have point, half, oh, point half hit points, disadvantage on everything, half speed. As these two collapse and their wounds reopen, they feel the cracked ribs, the bones, <laughs> sprays everywhere. Uh, we move past a lying on the floor griffin, a kneeling queen, and through... The red egg sack. We're fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Chip, you've just walked in. The compass shuts itself, and in front of you, you see as he removes the hood, the familiar obsidian horns of the obsidian tiefling. He's holding this heart out, larger than average, pulsing. Thumf, 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 thumf. And he looks towards it and holds it up without even acknowledging you. And you are surrounded by this, like, almost like swirling star field red. It reminds you of when you rush through the um, unlocked hallways of the block. He holds it up. To be or not to be. Oh, jeez. He is so fucking extra, bro. <laughs> you see him sort of grin. And he begins to recite the intro to Hamlet. Um, what do you do? He keeps going. He keeps he going stop. until you say something. When does he stop? <laughs> let him do the. Let him see how far he goes. Is he gonna do the whole play? Roll a uh, perception check. I haven't even done anything yet. What am I perceiving? Just roll it. I got a twenty-two. Nice. What would you like to do? There aren't a lot of activities here in the sack, so <laughs> I think I'm just gonna talk to him. When you open your mouth to speak, you see his uh these kind of like ragged brown robes that he was wearing as this merchant that sold you drugs uh begins to sort of just almost like disintegrate into this black overcoat uh reminiscent of a pirate's captain's coat and as it does you notice in one of the inside pockets as he sort of barely turns you just get a glint there seems to be something brown wooden slender in his pocket no no no! No! Not the fucking Oh, stick. you've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, this is the... Oh, fuck me, dude. You're actually fucking dead. I'll be silent for a moment. I'll look down at it. Oh, I guess you found the stick. <laughs> That's the first thing you say. <laughs> yeah, it is. He finishes the uh, monologue. Turns towards you. Still holding the heart. Sort of next to his chest. And then he just sort of uh, uh, covers up that pocket, puts his hand on it. 
any chance you could have had to sleight of hand it, he's now well carded. <laughs> oh, no! You ruin everything you touch! I wasn't gonna take it. Just last on the stack! Rude of me to, um, decline a gift left by a, uh, friend? Is that what we are? If you'd like to be. I didn't notice you come in, Chip. Um, consider me surprised. You're not the only one. Although I shouldn't be surprised it was you. Back at the front. I'm going to say for this purpose is that once you, um, your bandana uh, fell off back when you were killed, and he sees that you have dried blood running down from your mouth on your chin and sees the um, grayness in your skin. Actually, I think he's currently uh, green and blue polka dotted. Wait, is that until long rest? I think that wow. was just forever until he got removed curse done. I did die. <laughs> I did die, so like... Those polka dots don't have colors, but he is... Yeah. You're now, <laughs> yeah, you've now turned fucking, yeah, dark, dark polka dots. I don't want to be polka dots. You're black and white polka dots, dude. You're God fucking pulp. It. You're fucking pulp. Thanks, Condi. I got you, bro. Is this because I didn't get the stick? <laughs> it's because you didn't get the stick. I'm not. I'm not gonna fuck we with you. We don't need the stick yet. <laughs> we it's need not time. the stick. It's we not time. We need the stick. It's not time. There's not a time. There's a time. It's not now. Oh my, Chip. You have um befallen quite the illness or gift, depending on your perspective. Given that my heart is sitting in the spider's stomach, doesn't seem like much of a gift. She played her cards well when her prediction of the future went awry. Though, pirates that sit on a throne or on the ceiling waiting for all of their machinations to arrange themselves and, and succeed on their own, well, that's why they always lose great desires corrupted. Another sad story. But she almost got it. He holds the heart up in front of him. Luckily, we were here. It's not time for the Dread Queen to be resurrected. Don't you think? I guess I wouldn't know. You seem to know a lot more than I do. Considering you were already here. That'll happen with age. You are only, you know, 19 years. God, is Chip only 19? Wait, you're fucking 19 <laughs> years old? <laughs> yeah. 19 years now and 19 years forever. Yeah, seems like I'm going to stay that way. Is that why you pulled the compass to seek? You don't want this... Gift the Captain Widow has. I kind of liked breathing. Uh, bleeding wasn't great, but I liked when the blood was in me, at least. I'd like to fix it. And you always have a plan, don't you? An answer. A way to fulfill a desire. I need to be alive for what comes next. Unfortunately, Chief. I can't have multiple active deals with one person. And there are some dark magic such as this that even I can't. It's specific. A unique capability reached and earned by this captain. So afraid to say you only have a few options. Think of the opportunity. A captain, immortal, youthful. You can do anything you want and death is no longer a risk. But merely a tiny possibility. Although if you do die in this state, you are never coming back. Isn't there something you'd like to do with this immortality? 
there's still quite like 20 feet of distance between you guys as he stands in front of the uh this like mannequinized if you can call it a body, it's still being grown, still incomplete, but it had this supposed, you know, a uh, huge heart inside of it that just continues to beat in his hand as he holds it. It drips as he talks to you. The heart looks like it's working, like it's just... Dum, dum. Dum, dum. Dog. Dum, dum, dum. Mm, I don't really care for immortality. I'll start to walk towards him. Wise. It leads to nothing but suffering. But for some reason, it's what these, what should we call them, lesser thinkers? Such a simpleton goal for many pirates. Immortality, endless wealth. Well, maybe their desires were just corrupted. Maybe somebody came along, gave them a taste of what they wanted. And things just went bad from there. Sounds like you're beginning to understand. Chip, I can't, um, as I've said, hold more than two deals, but that doesn't mean I can't help. Maybe as friends, acquaintances, you give something and I just return the favor. Temporary work associates. A small transaction. I'm not sure what I have to give at this point. But you've always got something in mind, don't you? Another desire? Chip, how about you roll inside real quick? Eight. Yeah, you assumed this was... He, he saw all this coming. He sees you sort of thinking and hesitating, realizing there is really not a lot Chip has to offer. And he says... How about this? You're in a predicament. If... Tomorrow, sun rises and Captain Widow rises with it. You're one stab away from death. I could offer to put her in a stasis so that she is temporarily not going to be a worry for you. And in return... I'm going to hold on to this. Doomf, 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 doomf. And you're not going to tell anyone we talked. What are you going to do with it? He uh, opens up his jacket and you see like on one side, the side that is not the stick, it is like you just see sparkling stars and blackness. And he just sort of puts it in and it disappears. There are many ways to gain immortality. None of them are without great or sacrifice. This heart is going to beat for many, many lifetimes. And so, the captain and her beloved, the Dread Queen, will share one heart and live for many, many lifetimes. Put simply, I just want to decide whenever the Dread Queen returns. I'd like to decide... Who she is when she does. Were you the one that... That killed her in the first place? Roll persuasion every time you ask something. <laughs> 26. Did I kill the Dread Queen? No. No, we were friends. At one point. She had a desire. And that desire was to go to the astral plane where all souls linger until they pass on into the plane that accepts them. As she wanted to learn the secrets of death, master it. And so she died willingly to search for them. Why do you want to know? Do you think I kill, go around slaughtering? Maybe not without a reason, but I know all the pirate lords are gone. Except for one, right? That's you. The young rookie is finally doing some research. As you've come to know, I have uh, many titles given by the world and the people I've come across. You and the Klaus is fine. 
to our history, Captain Hendricks works as well to some Papa of possibility. Dude's just making shit up, bro. You were not Gillian Tide Strider. We know you want to be. Is that all? Usually there's a couple more titles. An extensive list. What do you say? I take care of this little captain for a while. You live. Oh, unlive. This is all a little secret. And so what? Whenever I don't do what you say, you get to do it yourself? Well, I guess I could. But the way that this heart is designed, if I, let's say I have good reason not to stab it. And I have no interest in your death, Chip. Whatever assumptions you make of me from this uh, biased history you read are here. Well, inside, if you don't believe that. I got a 16. He has no interest in your death. He means it. Okay. If we have a little exchange here, and I have your word and you have mine, and I've quelled your curiosities enough, I suppose we'll go our separate ways. Well, if I'm going to put my life in your hands, literally at this point, maybe you could at least answer a couple more questions for me. He uh, just continues looking at you, sort of uh, angles his face down as his smile once again creeps up. What do you ask? You never said it wasn't you who killed the rest of them. Was it? Roll persuasion. 35. 35. I wrote a natural 19. I didn't kill any of them. Like most pirates do. They followed their dreams and desires to their heart's content and it landed them, led them, right where their end was supposed to be. But you had a hand in it, didn't you? A push towards these desires? A guiding hand towards this end? Well, that is what I do, isn't it? I don't know. You tell me. It's not for me to say if my association with one person or another is the reason why they are eventually led to their doom. It's not like I just rob people of their agency. No, you just bring out the worst in them. The worst is already there. In everyone. What about the sea? Tucker Ocean turns black. Captain Rose is gone. You know as well as I. This happened because of the hole. But who caused the hole? Wish we could ask him, but he's gone. Who's he? Captain Rose. Captain, Captain Rose caused the hole? He's the cat. You were on the crew. All of you sunk into the ocean, did you not? Well, yeah, but I, I didn't. I don't. All you remember is that as soon as you hit underneath the surface back then, black. You woke up, no memory. Couldn't have been the reason. He wanted to. leave. At least I think. You remember, Chip, how I was saying these pirates. Their greatest dreams and goals, wealth and fame, great power. Do you think Captain Rose's was? What do you think the others were? The four pirates that rose to the peak of power in our world. Dread Queen wanted eternal life. I don't know what Captain Rose would have wanted. Maybe like legacy? You see, he smiles big and bright. Legacy. If that isn't the greatest treasure a pirate can achieve, and what better way to have an eternal legacy than a hole in the sea? To change the world. That still doesn't explain how he 
could have caused it. He wasn't capable of turning a whole sea to black. Not on his own. Your guess is as good as mine, Chip. But if I recall... It's like... We have a deal. Oh, okay. Sure. Play your role insane. Is my guess as good as his? That's a 12. Your guess is as good as his. He says... But if I recall, we have a deal. You're returning to where it all began. And perhaps you'll find those answers for... The both of us. It's a mystery. Seek it out like a treasure. Just one more. Persuasion. Uh, that is a 26. Okay, what do you say? What are you trying to get out of this? Roses was legacy. Dread Queen was... Eternal life. What about you? So he walks forward. Until he's shoulder to shoulder with you. And he faces the direction you came and you still face that endless red sea. Puts a hand on your shoulder. And he just whispers. Freedom. And then he just is gone. As fuck. I was going to say, <laughs> I wanted to do something when he got close. What did you want to do? Is it too late? It's, well, it depends on what you wanted to do. I wanted to try and take the heart. Oh, it's actually, he put it in a pocket dimension. Like, you're not going to, he put that in his coat. I can't like, I can't like reach my hand in. No, it, no, no. That was gone. That opportunity left itself. Apologies. Yep, he <sighs> disappears. What about the stick? Dude, what up? <laughs> yeah. I thought the moment wasn't now. I'm just kidding. I don't want to get the stick. Yeah, you better not backpedal on that shit. I just wanted to <laughs> fuck with them and bring up the stick again. You piece of shit. <laughs> Chip, you are left there in this red space knowing that you have lost something very valuable. Your human life, your breath, your heart. Your sense of feeling is minimized. Your organs don't even work the same way. You can't feel anything moving. You don't know if you'll be able to taste food on your next meal. But you got to this point because whether it's the corruption or not, Chip did not fold. And these are the consequences. You'll feel how you will, but you're free to do whatever you'd like. I guess I'm walking out the sack. To walk out the sack, past the broken throne, you just see um, Queen kneeling, holding uh, something. Griffin just starfished on the ground, and then you see two of your friends writhing in pain. <laughs> family guy death pose. Yeah, family, they are just <laughs> writhing in pain uh, in, a, in, in pools of their own blood. I, I think I think if, if Jay's family guy death posed, I want to be like Gillian Ty's trying her hands on hips hero posed, but like absolutely covered in blood. <laughs> like it looks like it's just exploded out of me around me. You go up to Gillian, he says, nothing no, happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, his eyes twitching. Hey, guys, you all right? <laughs> just standing there, just still fucking bleeding. I walk up to Gillian and start waving my hand in front of his face. You guys are uh, at this point unstunned. I would have, yeah, it would have been really nice if there was like maybe <clears throat> a warning that we would explode after eating the pellets. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, good night. <laughs> <laughs> just falls over. Now I feel, oh, it's kicking in. It's kicking in. Yep, I'm just immediate shock. Ooh, just wear it off. Just wear it off. Chip, how was the, uh... How was the sack? How was it? Grande. Huevo Grande. No bueno. Okay. You guys are speaking Spanish. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I don't know any Spanish. <laughs> it was all right. I just guess we can't always come out unscathed. I don't know, man. You look better than us. No, I think we all look pretty fucked up. Yeah, equally, you guys all look ruptured and destroyed. Uh, it is very much clearly a miracle that you are all standing somewhat. I'm imagining Jay looks like a pop pimple right now, like just <laughs> fucking com oh, oh, it's visceral. Yeah, completely um. fucked up. Let me see if Queen can help you guys out. So you guys all see that Queen is kneeling 
uh, like sitting on their legs, um, holding something. You know, their hair is not as straight and, and shiny as it usually is. It is uh, kind of messy and, and scattered everywhere. And their oboe is next to them. You walk up and they're just kind of staring down at this masquerade mask. Uh, it looks like the only one that didn't disappear when the uh, bar disintegrated. What you got there? Um, uh, I, um, I don't know. Still, I still don't, I don't know still. But it looks familiar. They nod their head. Wait, uh, hang on to it. We'll put the puzzle pieces together. Okay, um. Right now we gotta focus up, regroup, get everyone all right. Can you make it another day? Yeah, I just slowly turn ahead to look up to you. With wet streaks on their face. Queen could use a hug. I'll pick up Queen and, like, hand up, pick them up and give them a hug. Having no memory is very hard. But, um, I recognize somewhat... And at least this is a little closer, but I didn't expect, um, it to be so fright frightening. Now, I'm not sure if I want to know whoever this person was, was certainly there when I lost myself. When you say we need to get people right, Queen, uh, nods and, um looks at the other captains and then goes over to Griffin who is starfished and he's straight up out like just un like unconscious not death saves or anything he just straight up he's out so what they do is they use their you know whatever uh, magic they have left to try and just get him able to wake up he does he goes <laughs> and uh, both of your crew members are awake I'll help Griffin up and start walking towards the door yeah I guess we should head back towards the ship and or the the village I know there's still some creepy crawlies out there this place is safe at least for now are we gonna make it if we leave now or do we wanna just stick around here for a little it's up to you guys I guess I look over the body of the um captain you didn't catch it while you were stunned and writhing, writhing in pain when you all look over uh the body looks like stone that has melted to the ground. Don't we need to worry about... Oh! I mean, your heart's in there still. Are you feeling... Okay? There's gotta be something we can do about that, right? Don't worry about it. Right now, let's just make sure everybody is safe. Through the windows, you can hear and both see uh, vaguely that it is raining outside is it water uh you can't see that detail through stained okay. glass windows i don't think but oh no when you turn the corner you see that that tabaxi you rescued gillian is sort of posted up on the wall like sitting and then stands up as soon as you guys show in this group screen holding anything by chance a staff yeah there's a little there's a little pink tree at the top of the staff mm -hmm. yeah i look uh you know sort of up and down Nice forearms. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. My eyes follow up to the staff, see the cherry blossom. Mm. A nicer staff. Did you just walk up and say that? <laughs> hey, uh, green, was it? Yes. Sorry, I don't... I haven't met um, all of you, but I just wanted to stay behind and thank you for the rescue, but also... Um, is now a good time... Looks at you, Gillian, and sees everybody like fucking. <laughs> <messed> up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's a good Thomas Anthony. What's up? I um, a name was Star. Star, while we were running, mentioned you had a um, aura uh, of divinity, and I thought that if well, that's very nice of her. I came here to save. One of my people who you said you had met 
Yes. Um, I'm sorry. When we found them, it wasn't as they were. They were changed by this place. I don't want to burden you with the details, but after I killed the shit out of the abomination it had become, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, those memories found their way into my mind, which is why you seemed so familiar, and I think why I really want to save this tree but maybe I just always wanted to save this tree. I, it's hard to even tell anymore. And I worry that I'm making this tree my whole personality and it's pushing my friends away because I'm just talking about the tree so much now. It's been a problem. But it's just, it's it's nice to have that. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Right, well, um, I understand. If there's anything I can do to help with... The two of you suddenly just <laughs> wince uh, in pain as this fucking booming voice enters. Uh, you, you would watch both Green and Gillian drop uh, a little bit and grab their temples. Um, and uh, you seem to both hear the same voice. Hear me. My time has come. And then you will stop. <laughs> stop winting. You, um, uh, everybody heard? Should we call him back? I mean, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Audio listeners are face bombed. What do you think <laughs> say to that? <laughs> was that, what was that? Was that the tree? Well, I, um, would assume... Maybe. Um, oh no, this one talks to the tree too. No, that's good, right? Chip, now it, it seems you're the weird ones for not talking to the fucking tree, am I right? No, just because there's one more person that talks to the tree doesn't make it any less weird. I think it's starting to catch on. And you guys. I, 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 I talk to many trees, but uh, this just talked to us. Yeah, me too. I mean, me too. I talk to all sorts no, of trees. You, I mean, I think no, I can. You don't. I mean, I'm sure I could if they were around. But yes. Anybody can talk to trees. Trees just don't typically like respond. To people. Well, uh, the tree just... You can talk to trees and Chip can talk to trees, but the tree just talked to us. And it said its time is near. Which is that it... Green, that seems like it would be a good thing, but with the connotation and deep, scary voice it had, it feels like a bad thing. I... I listen. I wanted to ask you specifically, and, and your companions are welcome to accompany, in, unless you'd like to... Go rest with the others, but uh, you specifically because of your my vibe. I get it. You saw vibe. me from a, you saw me from across the prison, and it was and if you my heard, vibe. Oh yeah, yes. yes. Um, your vibe. Um, you heard the voice as well, and 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 that means that I have my my intuition is correct. I I don't think this tree is savable, and I would like to send it off, and I'd like you to come with me. What do you mean, man? Whatever this RC is, it kills. Um, and if not, if kill isn't the right word, then maybe destroy is. And even a, a natural wonder as great as this weeping cherry tree that has given life to this island for millennia, I, a decade of absorbing this water has... I never had hope in the first place. You're still kicking. Stars still kicking. All those people back there that live in that hole are still kicking. If life can exist, even if that's small, then maybe there's a chance. Maybe it's worth a shot. Maybe it's worth trying to prove to everyone here that the Black Sea didn't suck all the hope away. So you'll accompany me? Of course. And the and the rest of you? Um, Look, I gotta make sure my crew gets back to the ship. I gotta make sure everyone's okay. All that before a tree. Have I still not sold you on the tree? It's clearly a super important tree. 
If the tree is important to Gillian, it's important to us. You don't have to come. I know you guys aren't as about the tree as I am. Not about the tree. We're about you, man. Do you think that getting to the tree from here will be dangerous? There's no way to know. Okay, I gotta go to bed then, because <laughs> I'm green. I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up so big. Given what I know, the areas around these of wonders like the tree are sanctuaries. And it's still been standing for so long. It's likely there will be less danger. Which is the only reason I feel uh, comfortable to go, but um, I still would like... If we run into something... uh, you can count on me. Don't worry. We won't be running into anything. We'll be walking into it slowly with my reduced speed. <laughs> if the tree calls to you, you have importance. I doubt it would call us if there was danger on the way. What would you guys like to do? I gotta go on the taxi, the tabaxi fucking side quest. There's just no way I don't take that, <laughs> right? You gotta <laughs> see the tree, bro. You gotta see the tree. We would like to go with green. If the tree is talking to me, does, does, it, does that mean I'm part tree? No, not at all. No. You follow green, who uh, one way or another is following some sort of a, a sense on the direction to go here. And you have to go... Uh, even higher throughout the palace into a cylindrical like tower that eventually leads up to uh, an exit that you all emerge onto like a cliff uh, which is basically the uh, massive cliff that was the backdrop to this palace. Gillian's psyching himself up on the way to talk to this tree because it's been built (laughs) up. Chloroplast. Chlorophyll. Stamen. Pistol. (laughs) That's all I know, actually. How do you you learn all those terms? As your group emerges out, you see above you are... It's a blanket of branches that cover the sky. You are close to the tree, and this means that it it encompasses the entirety of your vision of above. And in front of you, you see... Actually, Chip, roll a history check. Eleven! You get a very quick flash of... Uh, a like a standstill memory following behind Captain Rhodes, Finn, Gray, Rufus, and Arlen holding onto his hand, and they are walking through, following some very regal looking man, and you're all following. And you are walking through this mass, like huge, beautiful orchid or orchard filled with different smaller trees of all kinds, all types of fruit, as far as the eye can see. And there are sets of steps continuing down this path as you incline up the cliff higher and higher and higher as you remember walking towards this tree. And then the memory fades away and you guys see a graveyard of the what this orchid used to be. Just dead black trees. And it just sinks into you, at least specifically, Chip. How much has been lost? Uh, and you guys continue to follow green. Jay, did you have something you wanted to say? Somewhere along the way, maybe like right as he snaps back from the memory, Jay would just kind of walk up beside Chip and say, you think I made the right choice? Um, There are a lot of choices were made. You might have to be more specific. I mean, I, I could have ended it. We, you, you could still be, you could still have a heart. Um, and everybody would be okay. They'd just be an arm and a leg. You know, Jay, when most people say it costs them an arm and a leg, they don't mean literally. Yeah, but I mean... No, but I mean... You did what any rational person would do. This entire time, I have 
ever since we got to the Dark Sea, I've been talking about how our main priority should be our crew and keeping everybody safe. And I had the opportunity to to take the fall and and make sure everybody was safe. And God's no any one of us, all of us could have died there, Chip. And and I didn't do it because ever since we got here, I've had this voice in the back of my head just screaming at me that I need to get out, I need to run, I need to get far, far away. And I just... <sighs> it's fucking with me and I felt like I needed to like make a stand against it and I feel like I shouldn't have. And I feel like things could maybe be better. You would be okay. I would be okay. I, <laughs> I could live with without an arm and a leg. I mean, we but have... you didn't. Jay, you didn't. Whether or not it was the right thing to do, you didn't. I don't know. I got no fucking idea. We made the choices we made. We're all standing here. If you keep second guessing the last decision you made, you're just going to be caught off guard by the next one. That's not the last life or death situation we're going to see in here. I know. If you don't like the call you made, make a different one next time. But don't dwell on it. I just can't help but feel that we've made a lot of mistakes just coming here. As long as we get what we came for. Nobody expected you to lose an arm and a leg, Jay. She just kind of nods. You can tell she's not fully convinced. Speaking of your leg. Oh, boy. The one that was getting actively dissolved all the way up to your hip bone um, mm -hmm. is, like, covered in this... Um, you can see part of the knee bone. It is uh, uh, fucked, to put it lightly. Anything that's going to require that leg will be a disadvantage. Holy shit, that's a lot of things. <laughs> that's the most thing that require legs. <laughs> most most things require legs, yeah. <laughs> also, roll Arcana as you're sort of limping next to Chip. Oh, God, why do I suck? 11. 11 is enough to know that this is like, without powerful magic, it's not going to heal on its own. Yeah. You've dealt with that before, with Gillian's shit, right? But yeah. You get that sense. This is one of those things. Oh, Christ. This is the last thing we need is another fucking curse nightmare arc. <laughs> yeah. not, not a curse. <laughs> it's not a curse. It's just really fucked it up. It is a nightmare, though. Yeah, I mean, as, as Chip says his last thing, um, Jay just kind of nods and like puts her hand on kind of the fucked up leg. Kind of looks down and keeps walking forward, limping forward. And you can make your limp as noticeable or not as you want, like Jay... Let me, roll, let me roll a constitution check to see how how well she's handling this. 20, 30, 30, 20. Yeah, no, she's she's covering it up. Trucking. She's actually like speed speed walking, like like what grandmas do on in like a suburb. She's actually going faster than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's really excited to get to the train. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it'd be fucked if your walking speed was halved. Um, <laughs> so I it is already that. just because of exhaustion. So, but that would be fucked. Yeah, <laughs> I have wings for a reason though. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you guys uh, continue to walk uh, on this path. And Jay, with your passive perception, it's so high now. You can see that there are there are hollowed, but they are slumped against trees. Some of them stand completely still. None of them seem to react to your presence or react to anything at all. I would remain on guard, I think. Um, just in case. So... You walk through this field of corrupted and dead trees, this blighted orchard, and eventually you arrive at the peak of not only this island, but the base of the gargantuan great weeping cherry tree. And from this position, you look out, and as far as your perceptions will carry, you see the destruction, but also once... You can definitely tell what was this island from this place. Uh, there are ponds that are murky water, but not black here, that kind of surround the tree, and just a little bridge that like crosses this uh, these ponds 
to get to the base. Gillian, you and Green walk over the bridge and stand near the tree and you immediately feel this ancient presence within the tree. Green looks over to you and says, Together we place hands on it. I was thinking the same thing. And we say the only words we need. I don't know what you say when you talk to trees where you're from, noting that you're from under the ocean. Uh, he says, but here it's... um." We don't have nothing because we did... Because we... Never mind. <laughs> and he gives you an annoying glance. Uh, you both put your hands on the tree. Put the hands on the tree. And I look down. <laughs> we say together... Tree powers. Tree powers activate. Activate. Uh, uh, roll, roll. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> and you turn into a tree. Roll a flat charisma check. That's gonna be a ten. Uh, I'm gonna use magical guidance to re-roll. That's gonna be a ten. <laughs> the two of you at the same time say, "Tree powers activate." Put your hands on the tree, and both of you. Wait a moment, and there is no connection. And he goes, um, okay, that's oh, odd. I mean, okay. it called to uh, us. I don't know why it's pushing Mom's us away. Did we say it wrong? We, to say that? We, should, we should just go. We should go. Looks it, over at the others, uh, like you guys. Is there any weird uh, thing around? This is a weird thing. What does that mean? Is there a weird thing around? What does that, what does that mean to you? Maybe we're supposed to bring, like, an offering before we, um... Yeah, I was gonna identify this earlier, but I have, like, this leaf necklace. Yeah, that's kind of, um... Just found it in a chest full of snakes. Have you seen that before? No, uh, sure, hand it, hand it over if you don't mind parting with it. Well, for now, I'd like it back, maybe, if it doesn't work. Okay, well, it's yeah. an offering, so I don't know if we're gonna get well, it back. Like, what, well, it's an offering, but, like, what is this tree gonna do with it? No, it's cool, Jay, unless you want us to scratch the whole tree thing. Okay, well, one second, let me... I cast identity. <laughs> Does somebody talk to the tree? We're trying. It's an ancient green tree and they- It's not um... talking back. This never happens. This never happens. I can talk to trees all the time. I love talking to trees. Listen, I have one identify for long, long rest. I'm casting it on the necklace. If it's cool, I'm keeping it. If not, they can take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care that much about the tree. I've always been a hater. I know. It's like this tree is our fourth captain. In, of the Riptide Pirates. It's not. It's not. It's like this. It's, it's like this tree has been helming our ship and no. guiding us this way you this just, whole time. You know, the ship is actually made of trees. You shouldn't have told. You shouldn't dude, have told you him shouldn't that. Say you shouldn't that. You shouldn't say that out loud, dude. You shouldn't say that out loud, dude. 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 I start <laughs> looking at the tree. Whoa! 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 whoa it's cool, Gillian. It's, I don't know if you know this. Everything made of wood comes from trees. Barrels. The barrel you sleep in. Trees. You're, you're gonna ruin his life. You're gonna ruin his life. But there's no branches or leaves. That's because they cut them down. I drop to my knees and I prostrate myself in front of the tree and I go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I start like weeping. I start like beautifully <laughs> weeping. But I look like gorgeous and like in my element. Yeah, I, lo <laughs> I look so sexy. I start sexily weeping and I start taking all of the wooden things like off my body and like burying them in front of me. I'm, I'm looking through my inventory to find all of my wooden things. This is an amulet of health. What's that do? Pretty, yeah, hang yeah, on. That's like pretty, <laughs> that's like... Uh, what, what does it do? What, what's that an do? An amulet of health rises your constitution score to 19. <laughs> like what? Okay, Jay, you gotta hand over the necklace. It's got no, a leaf -uh. on it. Tree -uh. What do you mean, nuh -uh? -uh. What do you no. mean, nuh -uh? No, it's this is like the coolest thing we've ever gotten. It's it's like we've, we've come all this way for the it's tree. What, just because a snake bit you? Just because a snake bit yeah, you all of a sudden you really care about this necklace? For it. And that's hurtful um, that this is the coolest thing you've ever gotten. It's, right okay. it's, it's not true. I'm just saying it in the no, moment. No, because the coolest thing we've ever gotten is the stick. And none of us have seen that in a while, have we? <laughs> Start looking around the room. <laughs> it's not time yet, Gillian. We don't talk about the stick. We don't talk listen, about Jay, the stick. Listen, Jay, check your attunement slots. Check your attunement slots. How they looking, full? Yeah, but I can open one up. Well, I'm looking at the tree. And the tree's hungry, Jay. The tree's hungry for maybe some leaf or plant-themed items. And I've and I found out we've been parading around with wood this whole time, which that looks pretty fucking bad, Jay. Do you know how that looks for me? You had a stick, a magical stick, and um, lost it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. it was <laughs> oh, it was wood. Uh, yeah, you always sort yeah. of lost it, Chip. Um. 
shipped positive it. He gave it to like our arch nemesis. It's a work in progress. It'll pay off. It'll pay out. There'll be a payoff. Don't even worry. Oh, that would have been a great offering, but um, we don't have that. Yeah. Um, you see that uh, Green puts his staff uh, and just sort of digs it into the ground in front of the tree and gestures ask, okay, how about we put our hand on this and then on the tree? And then retry. Okay, you've actually put it like slightly far away. I can't reach. So why don't I hold the staff and then you hold me and then you touch and then you touch the tree and then you touch me and then I'll touch the staff. Sure. Should we say the same thing or should we say a different thing? Maybe we mistimed it. Are you, uh, on three. Okay. Ready? Okay. One, three, two, three. One, two, three. Go. Powers. Tree powers, tree powers activate. activate. <laughs> Wait, I, thought, I couldn't tell if I was hearing myself or you, so I think I said activate twice. Real fly charisma. Thirteen. You guys watch as both um, Gillian and Green's eyes open wide and phew, light up gold. And you hear in your mind, Gillian. <laughs> There's no way. Tree! Oh, I didn't know you were chill like that. Hey. Thanks for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for the world, Tree. I knew you'd be chill as fuck. Green, are you picking up on all this? I, um, can hear, yes. Okay, well, great tree. What can we do to assist you? Do you want us to, uh, well, Green was suggesting we, we maybe kill you because you were already, you were blackened and withered, but, oh, shit, should I not have said that? Um, <laughs> we, we, I never said that we were going to kill you. I well, just you, said never, that you definitely implied it, but not that, not that we want to or anything. It's just Silence. <laughs> I felt a presence connected to the very core of this world's creation. I have called the two of you. So, as I begin to pass, I may impart some of my memories so that the cycle will continue on. You're going to turn me into a tree? I don't, I don't think that's what he meant. Well, well he remembers being a tree. So, could you, um, what we're both getting at here is there's no way to prevent you from, from... Is, is there any way to save you? Oh, great tree. If you have a name, please. I am without a name. No one ever, you, you, do you prefer it that way? Or do you, do you want us to name you? Through. The many, 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 many years. Yeah. The residents of this island have called me by many, 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 many names. What? Wow. <laughs> what were some of them, Great Tree? No, we're not doing no. Is that, <laughs> is that the wisdom that you would like before I pass? Oh, no, no, what, whatever. No, 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 please, please, God, please. Very well. No, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. You, you, you need not recite all of the all of the knowledge in each of your individual rings. Whatever it w it is, you you wish to impart to us. We will make sure that we carry it on, no matter what. Right, Green? Does that sound does that sound good? Are you cool with carrying it on? I'm cool with carrying it on. If you're cool with carrying it on, I mean, I, I um Green's thinking about whether or not he'd like to carry it on. Essentially all of your consciousness are merged. Um yeah. and for Chip and and Jay, this is like what the 
fuck? <laughs> oh, we're here. No, this... like okay, no, they are okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you say. can you if you if you'd like to try and touch them and get them. No, on this... no, I don't want to. I I'll, okay. I'll I'll keep my distance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I I, I snap out of, I snap uh, out of it for a second. Uh, guys, guys, grab my hand. You got to This tree's fucking sick. This tree's talking no, to me. No, no, okay. I'm he's okay. in my, he's in my hand. I'm fine. <laughs> <Just pull> back <laughs> in. This is like uh, stunning. Light uh, uh, of something you have never witnessed before or ever heard of. It is um, wow. But your consciousness, Gillian Green, yeah. and this tree are connected, and you hear, you kind of feel like a tree. You feel a feeling of Green sort of like grabbing your hand and, and putting both of his hands on one of yours. You've saved my life. And I have made a lot of mistakes. If this tree and what it seems like, uh, the great weeping cherry tree. Yes, that is one of them. Okay, all right, one down, <laughs> one down. Uh, the great weeping cherry tree is willing to share. Who knows what it knows? I would want you to be the one to ask of it. And I will be here to do what I should have done and use my power to make sure its passing is peaceful and its essence is delivered to whatever other side. Oh, great weeping cherry tree. Yes. Yeah, we've, we've come to a decision. I will be the one to accept your tree thoughts and green here will, um, I guess help, like, for lack of a better word, tree euthanize you. <laughs> and, um, and if you happen to have any seeds or saplings in the area, I'm sure he'd be more than willing to make sure that they turn into great trunks like you. Mm, let's see how this goes first. You, you've done this before, right? No. This tree's fucking chill as fuck, dude. I don't want this fucking tree to die. I fucking love this tree. It doesn't deserve death. I fucking told- I told them! I literally told them we had to see this tree and they didn't believe me. What do you want to know from this great, ancient, archaic, magical, magnificent, old as fuck tree? It's gonna be stupid. I know it's gonna be stupid. Do you like blue color or red color more? Look up at it and I say, how many trees are there? <laughs> <laughs> what beautiful, incredible wisdom. Hang on. Before I commit to this, is this like an open-ended experience or do I get one question? I just want to know, like, is this... Because I honestly thought he was going to fucking brain blast me with, like, tree shit. <laughs> no, he's not going to brain blast you. There is a limit, yeah. There's only so much time. Without thinking about it too much at first, I, I, I definitely look up. How many? Roll religion. Okay, nine. At least... 12. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, but shit. there are many. And now, my turn. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to help. You know some of my names. What do they call you? How long until you die? <laughs> because, oh, great tree. This shit bout to add another ring, bro. <laughs> Try me. Gillian tied Strider wiki. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know the wiki has them all, man. <laughs> it's not even updated anymore. You gotta add Tree Hugger in there, too. Oh, Tree Hugger's gonna win him over. I stopped updating it, so some of these might be out of date, but, um... My name is Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep, pigeon lord. The one, warrior of rock and roll, singer, songwriter of Gillian Tide and the Tide Strider's hit single, The Hole in Your Heart, moisture master, horse tamer, defenestrator of the adulteress, friend of Dugon, Dugon's best friend, Dugon's pal, walking fish, fish, dirt eater, 
chum of Chimo and Chums, co-captain Gil of the Riptide Pirates, co-captain of the Albatross, companion of Pretzel, paramount champion, knight of Julian at one time. Are you fading out? <laughs> We're about a third through! Pretzel carrier, Leviathan tamer, serpent rider, brother of Duke on healer of the sick, friend of Duke, de Duke um Duke of Duke. There's a lot of them about that. Um... Eater of grass, beater of ass, grandma's good boy, dismantler of evil, eater of shit. <laughs> and right about here, we've reached the halfway point. We're about 50% done. Where did grandma's good boy come from? <laughs> who, can, who can say, man? Capitalism hater, royalty assassinator, sufferer of the spice, weed eater, slayer of evil, laughing lot liberator, fruit ninja, eater of sand, juice enjoyer, rescuer of John, fishy. Bitcoin miner? Wait! 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 wait. What are. I, NFT purchaser? Are these real? Yes, those are real! Drip Lord! Grand Million! The one who will change the world! Grim Slayer! In need of a dad! Who did I write all of this one? <laughs> Goblin Gobbler, Lime Lord, Tuber, Chips Nightmare Fuel, Monsoon and Moon Sun, Eater of Ass, Pretzel Seeker, Vibe Master, Pussy Slayer, Murderer <laughs> of Vice Admiral Kuba Kenta, Gillian, Motherfucking Titty Sucking Tide Strider, Egg Hater, Bong Obliterator, Baby Signer, and of course, <laughs> last but not least, one given to me by my dear friend, Baby Girl. Close it up. Well, Green, he's dead. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> You can't see it? Wow. There's you can't so see it, many more, dude. I didn't even... <laughs> Some of those did not come from the show. You can see you can't see it, but you can feel that Green's mouth is just agape. Uh, and then uh, he stutters. Um, um, I am... I am uh, Green, and I am... For, been appointed Cat Lord for hundreds of years. Um, then you must have amassed quite a, a number of titles as well. Well, um, <clears throat> uh, I'm- Or is it just the color? There's- m surely there's- there's definitely more. If you've been there for hundreds of years, you pr probably have thousands of titles. Unfortunately, I only have green, um, Lord of the Cats. And- It's pretty cool. Descendant of one of the Druidic families. And you hear the tree's voice boom, still alive, thank god. So... It is the Lord of Cats and the Underseas Chosen. I have, in my last moments, the pleasure of sharing. I hope that will suffice. Okay, I know how this might sound, but I've been hearing about another tree. A bigger tree, Not uh, no hate. A very magical tree. Not that you aren't. I mean, you're good. You're good. Like, you're great. But there's this other tree I've been thinking about. What do you know about this world tree? My sword seems connected to it somehow. My friend's mom is too. And it seems like it might be dying as well. Roll religion. Uh, green's with you. I'll give you advantage. Not to just ask tree-related questions, but, uh, you know. 17. I'd love to know if the world was always ocean. It should have been the tree speaker. Of course it was! And no, my history I was taught is not revisionist and problematic. It was always <laughs> water, and you guys are invasive species! You guys showed up, and you ruined everything! <clears throat> I, I, okay, I got some shit. Okay, you got it? Alright, alright, right, hit me, hit me. <clears throat> hit me for real. I'm taking notes. He's so chill, he's so fucking chill. Like... The four bloodlines of your world. I myself am a descendant of a greater tree, a godfather of all life. It connects us to worlds and planes beyond. Oh, shit. Without its roots. Our world would fall to chaos. Gilly remembers hearing something like that from 
Jay who heard it from her mom. Okay. Who heard it from many, many, many other moms. So many moms. Okay. So he's descended from that. Cool. It um, calls to me now. A warning. A disaster that comes. Yeah, Green Say. I have um, felt this too. This pool. Um, it is weakening. Well, we'll we'll save that tree next. Sure, your great, 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 great grandpa doesn't wither up. The uh, connection, the voice, uh, things are growing weaker. But if you would like to ask something else, you still can. You get the insight that this tree um, will know whatever um, it could soak up through its life, through uh, water, creatures of the water, this land, the people of this land, um, and etc. for however many long. So the knowledge it has is extensive in the fact that like it's lived a very, very long time. And so it's heard a lot of different it's met a lot of different people uh, of all different kinds, uh, so ancient, right? But it's not necessarily like the first tree ever created in a way where it's going to know cosmic answers. Gillian skims a couple of questions in his, in his mind, like, what's what's your favorite color? How many <laughs> leaves did you have on your best day? What's the coolest whale you ever did see? It may be selfish of me to ask with your dying breath, but what do you know of the prophecy of the undersea? It seems every time we move forward, there's another version or people hoping for a different kind of Result or hero or something. What is the real prophecy? Wow. Okay. Crazy question. Roll for religion with advantage. Okay. 16. It's super my destiny to know. A flash of genius as well. Fuck it. Uh, an unnatural 20 with the destiny is a 22. Yeah. For some reason, Jay, uh, you guys are sort of watching this and there's a... Uh, there's always there's always an aloofness with Gillian, but you can see and feel this like serious expression take over, and you just with uh, your intuition give him sort of guidance um, in your own way. It's like a magical guidance. His brain starts moving. My brain speeds up to regular person speed. <laughs> All the questions about the colors and the leaves leave your brain. <laughs> you would be right. Question the origin of your people's faith. And you are right. Many, 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 many iterations it has had. You begin to have visions. In an indescribable uh, environment, somewhere you've never been, but surrounded by ocean, you see this flash very, very quickly of a group of people fighting against something immensely malicious. And then it comes back and you're still in a sort of golden light with the tree's consciousness and it says, The first I ever heard of a prophecy shared between those who live above and those who live below created written by these circles a war and you start to put it together that um, vision was some sort of like colossal battle. Okay. A war won by these combined efforts 
sealed an entity away. And together, created not only its prison, but its key and a warning. This warning is the original prophecy meant to be passed down until the inevitable time. You get another flash of this memory and you see Triton riding Leviathans with like weapons you've never seen before. Another flash and you see these um, red haired uh, Olympian looking humans and, 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 and elves and all kinds of different races that are, are, are flying with their own wings. Uh, and next to them, there are these gargantuan. Gillian's never seen a dragon, but it is a dragon. Like, it's a monstrous dragon. And there's also these, um, uh, another flash, and you would see casters controlling the elements like they were born to do so. And you come back to this golden light. I will do my best to recite its origin. And then I must pass. Are you ready? Probably not. Fire in the hole. An entity threatens world stability. Caged in the deepest layers of infinity. The seal remains locked by a key of divinity. Its release in time and inevitability. A sea god's last egg, the chosen, is born. Underneath an eclipse, in the midst of a storm, foreboded calamity, the chosen is born. The shape of all life shall take a new form. Its choice to be made with no time to mourn. Just kind of hear like the shimmering uh, light. You absorb all at once this... Um profound wisdom and ancient knowledge that is lost. And now you know it. And alongside the, these, these memories that the tree can picture it the best of its ability. And then it says, I survived as long as it was made possible. The last question I have. Who are you without the titles the world has given you? I don't know. Then Gillian Dodge Rider go and find out. And both you and Green come back and you watch as this, um, in the trunk of the tree, it begins to split open in this oval shape as twigs and vines begin to unravel and in the center, sort of suspended in midair, you would all see a rose gold and shimmering pink oval gem that is wrapped in thin vines and branches. Whatever you said worked, it popped out a treasure. <laughs> is that how all trees work? No. What is what is that? Usually they just make you sticky. Insider Arcana, if you'd like, Killian. Uh, 13. 
This is a seed, but you don't know what it does or what to do with it. It just sits there, floats, and um, uh, Green begins to walk forward. And as he does, it sort of gestures, or not gestures out, but it sort of floats out towards you all and then suspends in midair. And in that moment, as it leaves the trunk of the tree, the edges of the tree begin to evaporate into this uh, uh, golden dust that floats up as all of the branches in the sky disintegrate with it. And this golden dust begins to fall down on the island of Onawa country, turning to this kind of black sooted ash as it dies. That's a Master Uguay shit. <laughs> that fucking tree was profound, bro. What did it say? It showed me everything. It showed me just how much, just how much we got wrong. It answered every question I had. And all I have now is more questions than ever. Sorry if I seem distant. I just I have a lot to think about. Sounds like that was a lot. It's okay. Yeah. And also, that tree was <laughs> so fucking chill. <laughs> Guys. Oh, it was a chill tree. So it like unraveled the details of the universe, but in a really chill way. Like a super chill way. Chiller than you can imagine. I think I'm just going to take a second here if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't... I think I, I need to, uh, I need to think. Which is something Gillian has never said before in his <laughs> life. <laughs> there are, um, a million different spaces for you to walk off and then and, and be secluded if that's what you're wanting right now. I think he's just going to stay where the uh, the tree used to be and just take a seat and look at where it was as it continues to sort of dissolve and, you know, its ashes uh, sort of fall on the land. He's just going to stay there for now. Green looks at uh, the two of you. Oh, oh wow. Um, we uh, could tell... That there was something, uh, you have something special in, in you touched, uh, by the goddesses, I assumed. But, um, I didn't realize I was with this, um, prophetic chosen. And I, um, look, it's never easy to find... To seek out truths, um, but they may have gotten a lot wrong. Maybe you haven't yet. Maybe not. Maybe everything so far has been a false path. I don't know. I don't know why. There's been so many opportunities. So many powerful forces and communes with gods and... It was always there, but I never wanted to ask. I was afraid it would make everything I am wrong or worse. Meaningless. And now that I have asked, I feel like I don't feel anything. I hope we're stumbling our way towards the right path. I'll catch up uh, if you want to go on ahead. Green um, pushes the floating gem seed um, or just guides it towards you, Gillian, and, and says, It seems we have to carry heavy burdens that we do not ask for. It may not feel like anything right now, but you have done what I could never do, and that was face my fears. I have uh, neglected being a voice for 
It's, um... This, the balance in our world have, for a while, out of fear, I lost um, a lot of my people and our kingdom, all because I could never move forward or figure out who I never took responsibility. I think you should hold on to this as, from what the tree has said, I too will be called away eventually. Um, and when you figure out your path on your own, maybe you'll know what to do with it. Thank you, Graham. What is it? This is a heart seed. And this tree thought it thought us the recipients worthy of its um, planting at some point. Obviously not here, but it said there was a cycle. Um, right. And I believe the same. Planting. Which is when you... <laughs> I, I accept and I thank you for trusting me with it. I will make it my mission to planting this seed and and discover what that means. Are, are there not gardens um, below the ocean? Well, sure, like, you know, coral gardens and, and kelp and things. And Is it like pods? Is it like yeah, sort of like, like pods? This is like a pod, but for the, for the land. Oh, okay. I get, all right. It cl it's clicked. It's clicked. I got it. I got it. Thank you, Green, for this land pod. Thank you um, for saving me and um, accompanying me on this, uh, uh, my, my final duty. I needed the push. I just wish I had been here earlier. You see, it starts to head back down towards the palace. Walk up to Gil at this point and um, put my hand on his shoulder. If you need some time, um, it's okay. We're right here with you. Remember, you're not alone in all of this. And I know there's questions in your mind. And it's okay not to have all the answers. There is no right or wrong path that you can really choose. Um, just whatever feels right in the moment. I don't know what the tree said to you. Um, clearly it was <laughs> a lot. I just want you to know that we're here. Yeah, hey, and if everything goes to shit and the whole world gets exploded... That'll probably look pretty cool anyway. And at least we get exploded together. Yeah, that might happen, by the way. But, <laughs> I figured. Um, it was, yeah. a, you had like a world exploding kind of look on your face. And so I didn't know what you were, what was going on. I so just here's the figured thing. It, was a, it was a world exploding kind of thing. Like, I saw the world exploding kind of thing. And at first uh -huh. I was like, I'm here for it. Sure. But then I feel like, my world exploded. <laughs> oh, that's big. That's heavy. It is heavy. I just, 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 just look at me and my, <laughs> just grab him by the shoulders. Just look at me and my, in my fishy eyes. I'm looking. I'm looking. My beautiful wet globes, both of you, and just, what, uh, what, what do you, what, what is it to you? What do you see? What color are Gil's eyes? Blue, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Same with his skin. And <laughs> I look and I say, blue. Okay, it's all blue and teal, tealish. See, blue, tealish, maybe green. Okay, but inside though, like inside, you know, 
Yeah, in here. <clears throat> That's too much for Chip. He's a surface level kind of guy. Who said who said that? What the hell, Griffin? <laughs> you haven't said a goddamn thing all day. Griffin, then we need someone to look deeper. Griffin, what do you see? What do you see? Do you see anything? Is there anything? One of my captains. Okay. I don't know. I see my friend. I see I see courage. I see I see family. I see a force for good. I see somebody who's always got my back. No matter how bad things get. I see somebody who will smoke weed with me while <laughs> our ship is getting attacked by a, a beast. And then we try to throw all our money at it to try and make it go away. And then we get really strong and call it buff mode. And while we are staring in the eye of death, we're just laughing and having fun. What if there's nothing? What if there's nothing and 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 when I was born, it was already written that I was gonna go buff mode, and it was already written that I was gonna smoke weed, and that I was and that I was gonna be Griffin's captain, and and there's and there's nothing. What if there's nothing? Have you enjoyed it? I think I had a pretty rough start, but uh. Yeah. Yeah, even the worst parts. Maybe more than I should have. Yeah, I have. Then fuck it. That's all that matters. Even if it's all inevitable. I'm glad we got written in the same story. Me too, Kel. Me too. And I'm glad it didn't end here. Me too. We're going to get the crew back to the ship. Yeah. yeah, I think on the way I'll tell them about the uh, the prophecy that I saw and all that. Tell them that I saw big, big, sexy hundreds of Jay's dads flying in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> elemental casters and Triton riding big fish and insane. That my uh, whole upbringing is a twisted lie, and then I'll break down, <laughs> and then I'll chill out for a second and start telling them about how an entity threatened world stability that I was taught what that entity was was the people that lived on the land but it was just a tainted version of that we were supposed to be working together and I'll break down and cry again I was uh, raised to be a weapon of war instead of one of peace and then I'll talk uh, about how chill the tree was and how it asked me who I was and how I didn't know. And then I'll break down again. And then I'll turn to the page. Uh, let's see the final thing. And say that, like, shit seems like it's going to get pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the end, I'll be like, surf's up, dude. Let's just do it. Fuck it. Like, let's just like ride this wave. Weird, radical. And all of these breakdowns, by the way, are not like curling up and crying breakdowns they're just like stop in the middle of the sentence and like stare off into the void for like five straight <laughs> minutes unblinkingly breakdowns start hyperventilating a little bit and just like forget to fully breathe and like my <laughs> face turns purple and then just like as I'm slapped back to like sort of reality just continue on as if nothing had happened okay so you want to head back to the ship there's nothing in the palace you want to check in on and you don't want to stop at the hideout I feel like we should probably do both those things. I literally just want to get our crew to a safe place so we can long rest and Griffin and Queen oh. are not on the verge of death. <laughs> easy easy enough to do like on the like in the hideout, like where you slept last time. Um okay, then, that's yeah, going we'll to take, be safer than the ship. We'll take them there. Is the palace is on the way and there's some freaking cool stuff in there to look around. And but if there's a single spider or some shit, we just whip or we just turn around. Yeah, I mean, if we can just like stop by the treasure room, just assuming they have all their treasure. That's the thing is, we can't we can't fight nobody right now. Well, we can't fight nobody. I got this. Jay wants to uh, stop by the treasure room. I heard in the palace, you can yeah. absolutely just do like that a on quick your way little back down. little snoop. Little okay. <laughs> All of you head back down that tower through the uh, third level of the palace down to the second and you begin to uh, 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 walk past that room that had uh, all the mounds of gold. Go ahead and Jay and just roll investigation. Hey Jay, before you roll, I, it, it, <laughs> I believe in you 
Thanks, Gil. <laughs> Cast guidance <laughs> on her. Your belief in me gives me a flash of genius. I had plus four more to this. Uh, so that's a 20 plus 1d4. 1, 21. And you guys always carry around the uh, bag of holding? I mean, the briefcase of holding? Yeah, it's on me. You eyeball probably uh, a total of, hard to count, Zooey. mixture of gold and, and gems, uh, about like 5,000 gold. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just start shoveling it into uh, the, <laughs> the briefcase of holding because it's way too much to carry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like 500 pounds. Do you want to track that, Jay? I'm, I'm not responsible with money. Yeah, I'll track that. 5,000 gold. Do I need to like note that any of it is like in jewelry or is that like also legal tender? No, no, you don't have to do that. Okay. Because I would just assume that you would sell it if yeah. you ever needed. I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, sure no that people would just be like, wow, that's a nice looking necklace about worth 24 gold anyways so you mentioned the briefcase of holding and i can't stop thinking about the deck of many things and i really i don't know what is drawing me to it but no like, I really no -uh, no -uh, no -uh. oh here actually one sec i had to make some room here i take out the deck of many things give it a chip <laughs> hang on okay there's actually space to put it back in whenever you're ready so i'm holding it in my hand that's canon i'm about to go i'll literally go find them and grab them yeah right no now. it's canon. it's canon i mean i just i just pull it out and give it to him i'm like making some space why did you why did you hand me this oh i was just i was just reorganizing that's all chip i see the look in your eye i see it you're thinking about it so hard and you should not do it give it to me Give give that deck to me, guys. I'm already dead. Yeah, and you could be you could be, I don't know, like Jay Jay. Is this predetermined? Is he not supposed to draw a card? If someone was writing this story, they'd probably want me not to pull a card right it now. It wouldn't make any sense, would it, Chip? It wouldn't make any sense. Are you are you just gonna do like okay? So we're going so we're gonna become anarchists and we're just gonna be we're gonna be terrible, destructive people just because we think that things are gonna be predetermined. If things are predetermined, all right, I'm not gonna pull a card. <laughs> no, no, uh, I really don't do it. do it. I really wanna no, do it. Why? Why? Like what is because it? Of what does it add to the story? Nothing. Chip, do you agree? It's a bad i it's a bad idea, right? Of course. And if you were, uh, and if you were listening to this, if you were watching this. It wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't add anything. It wouldn't take our heroes in the direction they need to go, would it? No, it really wouldn't. It wouldn't. So, <laughs> there was, if anything in this world was the opposite of destiny, it's this. I, I'm reaching out and trying to grab. I'm going to try to swipe the deck All from right. him. All right. There's a 25% chance I'm going to do this. I am holding a D4 in my hand. Dude, you're where I was at in the improv show. You're where I was at in the improv show and I had to pay fucking Gooblek for months. So just, just think about it. Really? Just think about this. I want you to realize that this deck has only brought, actually you did get a keep and persuasion that one time. Yeah, fucking go for it. That was <laughs> yeah, okay. And there's more bad <laughs> shit in there than there's good shit in there. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. I'm just killing. But, there, but here's the thing. Fuck destiny. I'm gonna leave it up to chance. Hey, that's destiny then. Then you just no chances to what? Wait, <laughs> wait. Would I? Wait a second. I'm gonna win big. Gambling is not destiny. Guys, we need to go to Vegas. What if because I'm chosen, <laughs> I'm going to win big All on right, my next I, jackpot? If I get a four, I'll do it. Otherwise, I won't. I put the deck away, <laughs> but, but I hang on to it. Jay, you find uh, two rings. Two rings. They seem magical. Gillian, um. As you walk into the treasure room with her and there's this kind of short debacle about the deck, uh, you feel uh, Destiny's blade hum for a minute and sort of ring. And you hear uh, him say, Hey, what is that? Something nearby. Jay, you would see that there is a, a like wicked looking sword in the corner. Well, that's a wicked looking sword in the corner. There's a wicked looking sword in the corner. Hey, whose wicked looking sword is that in the corner? I don't know, but it's pretty wicked. Is that... What you're talking about? Bring me closer. Oh, sure. I also just want to say, like, if today we didn't cut that red thread of fate you've been so on about, I don't know that it's ever going to happen, man. If I ever feel that our oath has been broken, I will be destroyed. W what? Holy shit. Okay. Fuck. Um, what, if I myself, will you be destroyed? If I try and... Um, God, okay, let's go to the corner. Let's go to the fucking corner. I don't want you to fucking explode yourself. I, I'm t Everyone back up! 
I'm taking my sword to the corner because he's he's in a uh, volatile state, and if I don't, uh, oh, oh shit! Are you gonna oh grab my the wicked, the wicked looking sword over there wait, too? Wait, wait, wait! It looks wicked. Is this breaking our oath if I take you over here? It just looks kind of like jagged, and in that kind of wicked sense, at like the uh, tip of it, and has like a really dark handle. Gnarly, radical. Like just because like I might make a mistake doesn't mean you mean to like freaking. You don't need to gill yourself. You know what I mean. I can feel its magic. Okay, we're talking about two different things. All right, I'll, I'll bring you. I'll bring you closer. Yeah, the two swords are in love. Okay, Do, should kiss. I make you? Uh, I make um, them kiss. Like two action figures. Sorry, that was a massive intrusive <laughs> thought. I pick it, pick it up, Killian. You sure? Now you start to question me. Okay. Hi, man. <laughs> pick up. <laughs> Pick up, I'm questioning everything right now. Pick up the jagged sword. Is this my style? Do I need to, do I need to go goth? Do I do, do I do wield? Do I even need the shield? Is the shield even a part of me? Who am I trying to protect? Myself? Just roll a charisma check. 22. Nice. 22. You feel uh, in your dominant hand, Destiny's Blade hum, and then the other one, you feel like a, 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 um, sort of like warping at the handle and you feel this as the blade on your in your non-dominant hand this wicked looking sword begins to turn into light and then it sucks into destiny's blade oh bro's in you what's, what's going on <clears throat> yummy did you consent to that are you okay? Did he just eat the sword? The wicked sword? You guys can't talk to Destiny's Blade, only Gillian's can, but yeah, you guys would see that Gillian's blade absorbs another sword. <laughs> Whoa! Fuck! I'm like a little disappointed. I was thinking about maybe like picking up a sword and trying to use one for once. He was hungry, <laughs> and there's not a Burger King nearby. Keep that sword away from my sword. Yeah, hey, don't cannibalize <laughs> my gun. <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah, I started, I started like moving over towards that window. Hey, back whoa. up, it's not funny. It's not funny! De uh, Destiny's Blade, which still feels weird to call you, it's like full naming your friend. Do you feel... Are, are you glowing? What's going on? You're like glowing? You're pulsing a little bit? Is it good? Is it a good pulse? It like hums for a minute as your blades glow, uh, dims down. How you doing, baby blade? Good. Alright, carry on. Okay, well that was like the last thing in this room, I think. It was not. <laughs> Jay, you're not moving on. He's moving on. This Are you moving sword, on? Ate another sword. Are you <laughs> hearing this guy? I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Are I you want... hearing what it's saying right now? No, I can't hear. I've never heard your sword. Your sword has never talked to me. Doesn't work like that. Actually, it talked to me once and then it disappeared. It would it talk to you? Vaguely. Gillian, you get the sense that um one of the properties of the sword you just absorbed, Destiny's blade has Sucked it up. I'm so nonchalant about that shit. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just ate a fucking sword. It's like, ah, it's cool. On a natural 20, Destiny's Blade will do seven extra damage of its weapon type. Fucking baller. All right, that's sick. So on a crit, does seven extra damage. I, I do start. Chip notices me starting to eyeball his swords for her. <laughs> and like looking at this, like looking at Destiny's blade, and like looking at his swords, and like looking at Destiny's blade, like looking up and sort of like. Wait, what does what Chip say again? Is, is it hot mode? You start just whispering, hot mode, hot mode. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny's blade uh, is linked to your thoughts, so I'm assuming it can heal all your thoughts. Here are all your thoughts. It totally can. I'm like totally We're looking hungry at it. my swords, man. Those are kind of tasty looking swords, aren't they? I've never been more thankful not having like a magic weapon. I'm not feeling anything from those swords. Oh, it's actually, your swords don't have a very good vibe, Chip, so he's not interested. Yep, terrible vibe. Terrible vibe off those. He's not hungry anymore? He doesn't want, so, not even like a bite? I don't think so. Jay, fuck off. <laughs> Jay, you also find a uh, sort of weave of cloth, sort of like a cloak. We're just moving on from that, huh, dude? <laughs> yeah, like, I've been digging through the treasure this entire time. Uh, make an arcana check for this next, this last thing that you find. Arcana, this is, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> My last flash of genius of the day. Oh, it's your destiny as well, for oh, sure. Oh, thank you so much. I love, or rather, I love being... it's your it's your free will desire. It's, it's I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared of changes. That's it doesn't, it doesn't. a twenty five. You find a little black cloth that is one hundred percent magical and one hundred percent should not go in the bag of holding. Destiny's blade. Consume. Consume. Nope. Consume. Nope. 
I just point. I point like a pocket. fucking magic wand. I put it in Consume my pocket. Destiny's blade. Eat, face. You can't just. You can't just do that to everything around you. You can't. Yeah, -huh, I can. -uh. Yeah, -huh, I can. -uh. I start. Move, I start going around the room like it's a metal detector. No, I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. No, you won't. I will literally eat you with my sword. My sword will literally eat your sword. I'll eat both of you. No, you can do that. Your mouth's right not now, big enough. Yeah. Your, your mouth's not big enough. This goes on for half an hour, then we leave. Why don't we- why don't, how about this? Why don't we try and eat each other at the same time? <laughs> Alright, bet. We're gonna all eat each other at once. That's everything you find in the treasure room, and unless, uh, you guys say otherwise, you're heading back to the hideout so that you can long rest. I'm gonna start to talk to Destiny's Blade more, and like, because it feel like he was so nonchalant and cool, like, I start and like, try and test out those personality traits, because like, I don't know who I am anymore, so like, how can you just like, be so cool about like, eating a sword like that, man? Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Do you mind if I start saying that? That was that. This is this. You know how it is. Uh, knock yourself out, champ. Yeah. He's got so many. Ooh, so many. Like, what am I? What am I going to call letters. these? Yeah, like blade. Blade. I mean, I can't hear him. I can't hear him. But like, I could tell he's vibing. As right you now. can tell, it's a zinger. Every time it's a zinger, he lights up. Every time yeah. he does a zinger, he just, whoop, he lights up in my hand. Really quippy sword. A really quippy sword. You can't even hear it, but you know he is. You know. It. Hey, hey, Chip. Hey, Chip. Hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Hey, everyone in the room. Oh, it is what it is. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It is what it is. Oh, would you come up with that just now? That's a great attitude. I looked down at him. I look up at them. I looked down at him. I look up at them. <laughs> I regret not knowing how to do a New York accent so that this <laughs> sword could have one. <laughs> Dude, if there was ever a time he develops a fucking accent randomly, it's after he eats a sword. Eh, hey, forget it. Forget about I don't know how to- Forget about hey, it. Hey, forget about I'm walking here. It is here. what it is. <laughs> On the day of my daughter's wedding, <laughs> you come to me and you eat my sword. Gilliam is, is becoming a, a fucking stoic, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fucking it is what it is. Fucking Giga Chat. You did hear uh, D Blade say one more thing. Okay. He just says, D Blade is baller. I'm calling him D Blade from now on. I could tell you have a lot. Um, we have a lot of weight to carry, and I saw an opportunity to uh, improve my aid to you and our partnership and took it. Nothing more. I hope we both keep keep improving. I'll, I, I'll look for swords to eat too, and maybe that'll help me figure out who I'm, how I'm meant to fit in all this. And no matter what happens, no matter the calamity we face, it is what it is. And I dap up my sword. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> Destiny's Blade gets a little bit of information from your consciousness um but wasn't like connected to the tree the same way you were and i rolled a 19 and uh for his memory i knew he'd be connected and he goes um that tree mentioned the war i think i was there you think that was the the war under the great tree you i think i think so do you remember anything else or who you were. The DM decided that I needed around natural 20 to uh, remember anything. Does it have to be a natural 20 or can it be a dirty 20? It had to be a natural 20. Fuck. To remember more. That's fucking... He is a, a sentient blade of a very long time ago. That's fucked, bro. That's fucked the DM did that to you. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to say retracing your steps, you're able to get through the same way that uh, Igneous and, and Gang got through the city. Just retracing steps. Um, You know what? Go ahead and roll a uh, group cell check. I'm gonna. Use I start crouching and I accidentally step the on a DM, piece of DM glass and I go. Over here, hey, it pick is me, pick me, pick me. Yes, yes, Con. I'd like, I'd like to cast pass without a trace. <laughs> cool, <laughs> dude. I actually rolled a 15. This is the best day ever. I also rolled a 15. I rolled. Uh, I got a 28. 15 as well, actually. Wow. Natural 20 from Griffin. Bless. Yo. <sighs> And a 13 from... Wait, Nothing uh, matters, Queen. You can't get caught because we can't get caught. <laughs> yeah, group check. <laughs> you, guys, you guys. Queen is just, uh, hard to not... You know, just enamoring presence. You, when you see them, you have to look at them, you know? That's why they rolled low stealth. No, but you guys are all stealthy. You make it through the way that you came through this uh, palace. It takes uh, uh, quite a bit of time. And uh, by the time you get back to the egg village and find yourselves, uh, crawling through that little tunnel to get back into the hideout, it is definitely nighttime. 
and the rain poured up until the tree disappeared. I don't think I would even talk to anybody in in the little egg hideout. I would just pass out. I'm exhausted. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty late. Um, so it looks like most of the survivors in here have retired already. Do they know? Do they know that the motherfuckers are dead? Whenever the you know Ignis, Samia, and Star returned, they celebrated Star's survival, and then everybody exhausted and beat up rested. Um, and they're gonna save anything like that for the morning. Do we have conch charge? I don't know. Well, I think we have multiple. It's been a long day, man. It has it's been, been a long, long fucking day. day. Yeah, no, we've used all of them. We've used all of them. Like four episodes of a day, right? It's been a long fucking day. <laughs> Let's sleep. We can call them in the morning and hopefully they're okay. I'll feel terrible if they are. You got Dre and Finn and Earl. I mean, like the most unbeatable old man. They in literally the world. are, Let though, me... right? Like, I think God could come and try to take down the ship and, like, they wouldn't get away with it. Like, if God himself tried to step on the ship, Earl would plant his feet, drink some juice, and, like, fucking lift it. Like Atlas. Dude, he'd squish him. He'd he'd make fucking god juice. He'd make god juice. Yeah. That's the question you guys should have uh, asked the tree was what who what who and what is Earl really? Dude, I should ask where's Felipe, bro. <laughs> 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 Shit. You guys head back to that little divot um, and. Long rest. We crash. Do I sleep? Yeah. Do you sleep anymore? Holy shit. Um, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, you have to rest. You have to close your eyes, and everything like that. Gillian. Jay. I think that the powers that be, Are your they want yours, you. Jay? They want you to be awake and thinking about this, so that you don't so, sleep, so that you're held back in the morning. But if the powers that be want that, then that's one step closer to defeating this, to f for fulfilling. And I and that's good because but to defy them you have to go to sleep, Gillian. But I don't want to. But do I even want to defy them? Is that is is all I am an act of Gillian, an act of quiet defiance against Gillian, or am I more? Listen, Gillian, I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if they didn't want you to sleep, or if they didn't want you to sleep, it's so natural. Everybody does it. We should sleep. It's natural. What does that word mean to you? It means that everybody, like, it, it's second it nature. Means like it's, everybody. It means it's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. No, no, <laughs> no. Fine. I will beat destiny, and I will, I will, and I will follow it at the same time. And I close one eye, and I leave the other one open, and I put my left brain to sleep. As all of you long rest. Just need everybody here. Remove a point of exhaustion. Oh. Remove a point of exhaustion, but also roll a wisdom save. Oh, fuck. I fucking suck at these, man. Guys, you get plus four, guys. This is big. Please, God. Please, God. No! <laughs> Great. That brings my seven to an 11. Okay, 17. And I, of course, I forgot this happens every time we long rest, so I didn't save a fucking stroke of genius. Oh, you used them all! <laughs> I used them oh, all. No. I got an 11, <laughs> but I got a 17 on my dodge, so I dodge out of the way of whatever's about to happen. Shut the fuck, dude. Um, <laughs> I wish. Does a 17 pass, DM? Gillian passes. This is just the ambient corruption that gets stronger every time you take corruption. Everyone give me a thumbs up. Gillian passed. Chip, you're up to three points. Jay, you are up to five, which means you are moderately corrupted. You're almost halfway there. <laughs> I'm halfway dead. Woo! Oh, what a good sleep. Who would have thought it would be so nice on this cold stone floor? That's weird, Jay. Why are you emanating black and red particles? Jay is, Jay is like repeating a running animation into a wall. The last world that I needed was an intelligence saving throw from Chip. Oh, I'm actually pretty good at those. Uh, you are. 19. Dude, you're smart. Why? What am I being intelligent about? Stay dumbass, boys. Go up. Chip. Que. You um, aren't able to dream, but it takes a long time to fall asleep, so your mind wanders for a bit. And you can feel that there is some sort of tether that was lost. Like, you may be alive in an undead way, but you lack something so crucial you can feel this like sense of self that you are holding on to on this night it's only there because you remember it Gillian the most profound truth of the world has just been dropped on you by a great old tree and whether or not this whatever this tree remembers is completely accurate 
you can get the sense that the memories he showed were real. At one point in the past, um, the whole world, its, it's most powerful leaders wrote a warning. And while there are a lot of things that aren't destined, but the weight of their warning sinks in. Jay, there's a lot of guilt that plagues. I feel like a fucking hypocrite, man. <laughs> As you're falling asleep and you struggle with this uh, uh, corruption that's making you, that is basically amplifying all your fears of being your own leader, stepping up against uh, the many authoritative forces above you that, and for a moment your mind sort of like slips into a memory of uh, how often growing up you were defended and protected from consequences, from uh, authority, from all sorts of things by your sister. And uh, it just keeps some... Um, the thought just keeps recycling of, uh, you know, what, what would she have done? And what do you need to do? But you guys all rest. Still here. And you wake up the next day and you can kind of hear a little bit of activity <laughs> a little bit of activity out in this uh, subterranean hideout good morning good morning you walk out it's very easy to go check up on uh zombia or sorry zombia and, and igneous and, and star and i want to call the ship first okay call the ship does anyone else want to lead this? I I could. I mean, but I don't mind if you, you do. Go, ahead, go for it. Go for it. Go okay, for yeah, it. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, I had a, I had a big long <laughs> moment with, at the beginning. <laughs> Roll Connor. That shit connection is a little spotty. It is what it is. I need good guidance. And I sh shoot it and it shatters and uh, it connects with a 23 plus 1d4. Can't you just shot the gun and it died? <laughs> no, like, no, I'm sorry. no, no, I just raced it to the sky. 25 total. Yo. Oh, uh, hey, Uncle Dre. How's it going? Ship good? Everything fine? <laughs> uh, yeah. What? Why do you? Kinda. <laughs> what do you mean, kind of? Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Dre, what happened to the ship? You said you'd call us if something happened. No, 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 no. The the ship is fine. Uh, Finn is fine. Uh huh. You know we have to move it every now and then. Wait, is it's Earl, really is difficult Earl to fine? do. You, you skipped Earl. Uh, you skipped Earl. Yeah. So uh, how are you doing? Um, what? What is? How, how are you doing? I mean, like we're gonna be back today, so like we're at the ship. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So like, bring it back around to the dock where we left. But also, what about Earl? Why are you trying to avoid yeah, the subject I can do that. of Earl? What's going on? What? <laughs> well, that old man. No, it's the the connection isn't bad right now. I've I've got it like good. He's fine. I'm sure he's fine. It's, what do you mean you're sure he's fine? What does that mean? Hey. Uh... <laughs> oh no. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, no. Dre. Dre, we're gonna be back today, and if I don't see an old man making juice on the ship. <laughs> We're gonna have a problem, okay? Roll perception with disadvantage over the phone. Over the call show. 25, 25. <laughs> you hear like a like a like a like a muffled Dre! <laughs> like just like a crazy Dre, fucking old man sound. Did you tie it? Did you tie the pearl? Yeah, alright. Alright, love you too. <laughs> See you then. He just hangs up. <laughs> oh. How's Dre uh how's Oh man Earl? He's tied up in the fridge, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all, all seems well then. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's better than the ice cube he was in that one time. That's true. He does end up in precarious situations a lot. Yeah, but it was just a bit. He's over it, I'm sure. That's a bit. It's a bit. <laughs> I'm sure this is a bit. Also, when I wake up, I am going to cast less restoration of myself if that is okay. Oh, what well, should I'm be written I'm, there? I'm, I, I don't know. I'm trying. I don't know if this works technically, right? So I'm, I'm just trying to see if like maybe I can like counteract the corruption, you know? Do it a little second level... One action, touch range, instantaneous, PHB, page yeah. 255, uh -huh. lesser restoration mm -hmm. spell, yeah. are we? Takes a whole second level slot, so if you, you know, need anyone else to cast it, maybe there's like a paladin or someone that... I could try. You think you could do it, Chip? I could, maybe. 
I fucking leave. I fucking leave the scene. I fucking leave the situation. I go out. I, t- I, I, I tell Zamia and Igneous. So I say, hey, do you guys want to tell everyone that the fucking wicked bitch is dead? Uh, so, Jay, your corruption goes down by Three. one, two, four. Gillian, you start to walk out. You head up to where the uh, uh, you remember meeting Zamia and Igneous the first time. You just sort of um, uh, tap on the, the cloth to, to knock, and then they... Uh, Star opens it, like, very quickly, and then looks at you with a bright smile. She says, Sir Gillian, it is, um, come in. Oh, come. oh, oh sir, that's, that's a, that's a new one. Um, uh, just, just, you, just Gil is fine. No, no worries, Star. Um, sorry, am I, sure. am I interrupting something? Sure. Probably no, a war um, meeting. We were all just waking up and we, we, soon we were going to find you. Oh, uh, well, you did. <laughs> like, I won't come on in. Did, would you guys like to follow Gillian? Uh, you don't have to be out of the scene if you want. Jay, uh, I didn't realize yeah. you were right behind me. I, well, I just you was know, thinking about what you said. I saw you casting <laughs> that yeah. little spell earlier. And, and I figured, um, you know, Star's a cleric. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. So we're we're going to see if Star can. Oh, you're, so you're going to ask Star? No, I'm, j- I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Can you cast it? Are you- uh, so- Chip, you actually, uh, Igneous is coming up from some other uh, hole in the wall, and and at the same time as you, he goes, "Yo, what's up?" Uh, and the uh, you guys kind of join in with this whole thing, and you enter and see uh, Zamia, Star, and then now the three of you. When Igneous jumps out, I want to freeze, slowly creak my head over towards him, and drop my jaw, keep my eyes wide open. Didn't you hear, Igneous? And I put my arms out. I'm a zombie. <laughs> I dropped me. I dropped me across the room. Gillian! <laughs> Divine sweat at fourth level. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm slipping into... It, I'm getting too into character, and I'm, I can't leave scenes anymore. Chip, roll, roll performance or persuasion or intimidation? Performance. I'm just trying to... I'm just doing a bit. It's a bit. Uh, 27. It is so fucking convincing because your jaw, you can actually disconnect it with no oh, pain. And you just look at him with this dead stare. There's no soul, no light behind your eyes. He goes, Oh my. It like pulls his fucking web. Uh, whoa, pulls the sword out. Oh man, chill. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm like a cool zombie. Don't worry. Look. Back in. <sighs> Listen, Chip, you shouldn't go around telling people you're a zombie. <laughs> you can't just go around and do that, you know? Go be careful for whatever's going on with you, all right? Lighten up, Igneous. Uh, It'll be fine. <laughs> really got me. I'm not scared of zombies. At all. Oh, you're not scared of zombies? Hmm. No. You're not scared of zombies that are coming for you. Jose, you like grabs his horse? <laughs> I'll fucking kill you, innit? <laughs> My brain is small. It would dodge out of the way of your beauty <laughs> maw. You all enter the chamber. What stars only in Igneous? Star says, uh, you mentioned going around and telling people things, right, to them just now? Yeah. Uh, Zamia says, we can share the news, but we still are without a home, and there's only... If you want to go around and tell people that the uh, tyrannical crew of pirates has been... has fallen, then by all means, maybe it will raise their spirits. Star looks uh, happy at the proposition. She goes, absolutely. Yes, and you said without a home? Well, I mean, there's been some new real estate that's opened up on the market. You're exactly right, Gil. Uh, I think I, I, when I was in that cell locked up, I started to realize that... Uh, these are the cards we are we are we are dealt, and if there is light to be shined on these darkest days, it's not going to come from the sky, but from wherever we can create it. Uh, and she just sort of takes Ami's hand, and she looks at Gillian. I um hope that. I was able to, that finding those beads uh, the, was quite fortunate, and I hope that it, I, I at least hope it repays the service you have done for us in some way, even a little. 
we're we're so even, Stephen. Don't even worry about it. Just seeing you two together again is a repayment more than enough. We know that pirates never stay in one place. And uh, these two have sort of filled me in of a little bit of your background that you knew uh, the Black Rose and that you are pirates of peace, clearly. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly is good enough for... Where do you plan to go next? Well, uh, this one's the one that knows the most about the Rose Pirates and... Hello. It seems that, uh, unless, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, it seems our quest will be taking us down. There's a hole. Right? There's a hole. In the sea. And we're gonna go down it. Down the hole. In the sea. That's where all this came from. Best case scenario, we come out of it and the corruption's gone. Hopefully we come out of it. No, no corruption. Unlikely, but we'll see. We'll take what we can get. Zomia says, wow. <laughs> wow. That sounds like quite the adventure. Yep. Down hole in the sea. So you just, uh, you die, points at ship, um, and, and the rest of us were all, you know, all sorts of almost fucked. And the yep. next thing you're going to do is uh, run towards more danger. Life keeps going on. And so do the holes in the sea. And they call to us. Fair enough. Um, really, though. Uh, this is something we need to do. Um, so far we've gotten two of the Black Rose Pirates together, and there's one more who's still down there. He's important to me. I don't know if he'll like what he sees when he finds me, but we're going to make sure he gets out alive. Star looks at you with uh, such a genuine expression and just... I, I, I truly wish you blessed luck. Thanks. And if, you know, you hear anything about a heart on the market, I'm looking for one. Just throwing it out there. Gil, my inclination with Green, what happened? Yeah, he, uh, he was there one moment. Then he opened up and there was a seed inside him and then he turned into dust. Wait, I'm thinking about the tree. Green is fine. <laughs> Green is all right. We spoke as crazy as that sounds with the tree. You both did. We both did. And he realized that there were some things he'd been putting off that he needed to do. Things he'd been running from. So he gave me his seed. I, he gave me the... Tr mm, um, yeah, he gave me mm. this seed. And he walked away. She says, Star says, So you... I'm sure he's fine. Um, it is sort of magic from at least what I've read. They travel through um, plants alive or dead. And if there was one nearby that he could use, I'm sure he found his way to wherever home he could get to. I imagine that is how he arrived here without uh, being swallowed by the sea, though unfortunate to run into what... Anyways, so then you are blessed by Ash to... I don't, do I look like it? I mean, I, I... I can sense when someone has been uh, touched by the divine... In one way or another, and I felt it tremendously from you. And and she also points to you, Jay. She goes, "There, there is a a a a hint of it in 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 your aura as well." But Gillian's radiates, and, and not to offend, obviously, I'm not saying that uh, one who is blessed more than the other has any more value. No, I mean I'm like discovering a lot of stuff lately because like they told me I had special blood and that my arm and leg would be like super powerful or something. And now you're telling me I'm like slightly blessed or something so there's a lot to process i've got two moms and they share custody of me every day how cool is that is there any stuff like in my aura in my thing you're dead oh dude <laughs> her eyes sort of like glint golden uh and for a second 
Um, and then she like trains. <laughs> she doesn't say anything to Chip. Just kind of like uh, and turns back to us. <laughs> Can you tell me? Um, and I don't want to keep you longer than you have to be but can you tell me more about where you come from and where you were taught your maybe your connection to magic she's talking to gillian stuff <laughs> not to chip i mean she so she definitely eyeballs chip when he asks and then she doesn't have the heart to say no so she doesn't um yeah oh Ch- oh are you asking sorry are you asking chip or no okay you're asking me okay because i have the aura to answer your your questions in order um egg Underwater, in a, the the capital of the undersea is where I, I learned from various tutors, from various prestigious schools, and taught. I, I don't really know about taught magic. Honestly, the the time I've learned the most has been with with these two by far. So, like uh, Zomia, you are a a a knight, a, a paladin for. Your, your underwater home, your capital? Yes, yeah, yes. I, I I swore an oath um, down there, under there, and um, shit, I mean, I guess it still kind of holds up, but lately I find myself questioning, I guess questioning my whole upbringing and what that all really means. But yes, I fight to protect those creatures of the undersea, the balance and uh and my friends Zamia hears and says so she essentially goes to say what you had told her before when you first met her mm. and she says you get to choose what your oath is devoted to and need not be afraid of it changing or losing one that you carried for many years Right, uh, Star says, well, um, that is good to hear. So, we were thinking, um, about trying to create a a a light in this place. While there are very few of us, I wanted to personally go back to the palace and start to put to rest the ones that have lost themselves. And, 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 and clean up and start to create as much of a home as we can while I help the ones who are left fight against this corruption, while I can search through the grand library of the palace and hopefully we can find a way out eventually. And I don't expect the three of you to stay around to help with all of that. There's, um, Oh, the f- many of you. She, uh, you know, Griffin and Queen are here. She knows that they are here, but they're not in the chamber. There is one uh, favor, uh, if I may, Gil. Of course, anything. I think I have ceremony prepped. If you want me to, uh, you know, make it official. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> uh, she. <laughs> but I don't know. You know, I don't know. You, never, you never know what the next day brings, right? So you too. You know, Zomia has like very like fairly dark skin, but there's like this flush of color into her entire face. Um, it's not. A, it's not a big deal. I've, I've actually officiated a wedding before. <laughs> not that it was honored. <laughs> I turned to Chip. No, 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 no. But actually, wait. I guess till death do us part. Shit. Uh. I guess you're kind of good now, man. Holy shit. <laughs> you're, you're free. You're oh, free. And all it took was... Uh, Dying. L- losing losing a mortal fucking soul. Divorce. There's always a positive. Malzamia gets flushed. Star uh, chuckles at your um, bravado. Just your, you know, the sense of not really kind of knowing the, the, the weights or the importance or the kind of craziness of that proposition <laughs> here in the Black Sea. Let me hit you guys in the fucking Black Sea. Uh, actually, yes. Before you leave, if you would like, uh, we would like to hold a wedding in the palace. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I, it would be my honor. <sighs> Big sigh of relief. Sort of sits down. Thank you. Wait, was that what you were going to ask? I did not. I didn't pick up those vibes at all. Yeah. Oh sh! I yeah, how did you? How did oh, you read that? Hype. Was I just not like, like paying enough maker, attention, dude? Yeah. I start looking around the room and making sh- and starting making <laughs> ships. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I love shit. I love shit like that when the pl- when a player just absolutely 
completely gets it in character. And then, <laughs> Dude, I was just like, you know what? These two are finally together. Maybe things are pre-planned, Gillian. Woo! No! <laughs> no! That's not the moral we want to have right now. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, all right. Yes, I would be happy to help. Well, it'll take some time for us to not only make a path to kind of separate all of these survivors back to the palace, but to clear out the palace itself and, and whatever corruption has been festering underneath these pirates. And then um, if there's something I can do to help you while you stay on the island, while, you know, we take care of it, I'd be more than happy to. You want to come with us? <laughs> sure. Where are we going? Um, I'm going to go look <laughs> at a thing. I forget. I got a flower. I, okay, I'll remember like when we get there. But I know we got to go to a it's place. It's like a place on a mountain with you have flower and a note and it's something for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why that. I feel like I, I've heard you mention this before. Um, yeah, man. It's yeah. something. It's like my whole thing, right? They have like, you know, having auras and special blood and stuff like that. And I'm just like. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I got like trauma and stuff. Hey, you know, <laughs> I don't have an aura. I don't have special blood either. You and me, we are. That's why you get me. Exactly. You know, and we don't need it. Right. And you? Fuck it. I've seen this before. Do you guys <laughs> want to get married? You? It'll give you plus two AC for seven days. Think about it. On a natural 20. <laughs> Ignis, I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Like, what, what's, <laughs> what could it hurt? You know? Did you roll a natural 20? Yeah, 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 dude. dude, dude just like, yeah, why not? Fuck it. Dude, you just got free of your last marriage, and now you're jumping into another one instantly? Yeah, yeah, you know, he gets it. He gets it. Do you understand the weight, uh, 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 the emotional, you know, connection, the burden of of, of shared uh, finances, and and just I share my finances um, with them already. No, uh, no, 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 no. We're not adding another person to that, though. Oh, I never really, never really thought of it like that. Oh no, okay, hold on. I'm gonna roll on an. Okay, I rolled, I rolled an Ooh. eight ship. You know, we're great friends. I'm not marrying you, all right? It's just not gonna. No, happen. that's cool. I get it. Yeah, I mean, like you know, you know, like I just figured, why not? Something, something just told me it was a good idea. I guess you just hey. out of twenty, it was that was the one that was really good. <laughs> Look, I can tell you're rather young, younger than I am, and and you don't know. Yeah, Chip, there's an age gap. You're making it weird. The importance, not it wasn't about that. He's obviously of age. I mean, he looks dead now, but this is all right. I'm just gonna, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, whoa, yeah, that that's a whole other can of worms. Come, uh, I'm gonna be on top. Come and get me whenever you're ready to do whatever you want. <laughs> 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 God, All right, man, we'll catch up. Do you guys have conch shells? There may be one um, in the, uh, the the palace, but we won't be able to uh, attune to yours from there. So um, um, I guess we'll be coming back. So maybe we could just leave one of ours with you. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they're all attuned. And then, you know, we're going to go check out this rose thing and then come back, get you married. Then uh, we're going to jump into a hole in the sea. And uh, never come back, maybe. <laughs> it's a hole in the sea, you know, and you don't really tend to come back from those. Yeah, you know, it's a hole. I mean, Chip came back from it, and Finn came back from it, and Dre came back from it, and uh, Lizzie came back from it. So. As a cleric of Aster, I feel obligated to stop you, uh, or at least try to stop you from... Mm, from... Don't. Sh sure. <laughs> Nothing you say would matter. We we're going to go into that hole in the sea anyways. <laughs> All right. We're out. Uh, you leave one of the cone shells. I guess you have one now? Yerp. Yerp. Nothing else inside the hideout you want to do. You guys are headed back up and you're going to, with Ignios' help, be guided across the island to the other side, up to the peaks of these mountains in order to find what was left behind by Captain Rose. Anything before that? Not stopping in the ship, like you said? We called. We called. We called. We called. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, we'll be back later tonight. Just kidding. <laughs> Could we leave Griffin and Queen with... At back at the place to chill out. Can you? Yes, yeah, absolutely. They can. They can also. Griffin looks uh, rested, and you know the wounds are have started to close and stuff. He looks like he can help them clear out the palace and, and guide them and stuff. I was gonna say, yeah, if maybe they can they can hang out and do something Queen a little too. less. If you a word of warning for you too, Star. If you ever are making your way to the palace and you find yourself face to face. With a hallway, <laughs> no, oh God. no, a corridor, no. stay away from it, and it seems black stay away. and full of mold. Do not take that first step, for it will Just be the first around. of hundreds, and then thousands. And dear 
God, you don't understand what it will do to you. And there's like a pocket dimension outside the window. And so I... you'll throw yourself out the window. You'll be traitor and throw someone else out the window. Traitor and you'll start throwing each other and you won't remember. You won't remember the hallway. You need to run. You need to can't go that way. Don't go back. Don't go back to the mall. Uh, and I run away. Okay. You run away. You cut. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> they were going to say something. Not going to do it. <laughs> you, uh... You guys head up, you start following Igneous um, back down the path that you came, you know, over the uh, uh, different corpses, you sort of uh, duck groups of hollow, though it seems relatively easy to get back to the village yeah. that was uh, that had the well and stuff, and you don't ever run past the construct that gave you the flower again. Uh, you get to the river, and... Igneous, you ever think of life like out on this ocean? See? And risk being <laughs> eroded, you know, corrosion... Walter and, and my, um, he like flicks his, his stone uh, skin, you know, I mean, I'll be a twig by the time I get back. I mean, erosion is something that happens over like hundreds and thousands of years. Really? Yeah, man. That's not what my pops used to tell me. Your pops was lying. Your pops is lying to you. He was just trying to make sure you were scared of going on the sea. Hey, one of you will persuade you with advantage right now, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Jay said it. Jay said it. So go ahead. Uh, also, the flash. Flash of genius. <laughs> Get four of those a day. 18. If my people here were taken care of, safe, uh, you know, the star really wants to find a way to to get us all uh, somewhere where the sea ain't black and the um, sky isn't gray. Oh, I mean, we can help with that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, you know, yeah. we can take stops whenever if you wanted to come out on the albatross. You know, actually, we have this, like, cool teleportation thingy on the albatross. Then maybe maybe that could, like, you know, facilitate visits. And maybe along the way, you two will learn a lot about each other. What? Killing the bits <laughs> over. There's no more, no matchmaking. We don't do that. Not in the ship. So you just say that. You go, he goes, what, what do you mean you have a way to get out? Oh, yeah. It's like you teleport. What? Yeah, but like we haven't done it because, like, you know, we're here, we're because we want to go in the hole. We're, we're going. We, to yeah, the we hole got a reason see. to be here, yeah. but we have a yeah. We have we to can be teleport in the hole. you guys out. But like, if you guys don't want to be here, and like, you know, and yeah, it goes to a nice island. It's protected by the Riptide Pirates, which is us. We're not really there. Only if you want to, though, of course, because it's like it makes you a little nauseous. So it's okay if you don't want to. Pirates are fucking crazy, man. No, not all pirates. Mostly just we're us not and good other pirates. pirates and most pirates. Ignius. We're I really bad pirates. To tell you that. Yeah. No, we're great. We're really good pirates, but we're bad pirates. Does that make sense? What do you mean you're not good pirates? Like, well, we're not very good at being pirates. We're like bad at being pirates, but we're good at being good. Well, because I, I, you know, I'll try to go somewhere and do something, and like, you know, I'm like, hey, we gotta steal this gold, and then Gillian oh, runs yeah, in like, head sometimes... first, and he saves people, and we get sidetracked. We never steal any gold. You're making it sound like it's just me that's the bad pirate. You're making it sound like I'm the. You're making it sound like I'm the bad pirate, and you guys are good pirates. No, no, no. We're all bad pirates because a small object will approach us, ringing, and we'll try to break it open for half an hour, and it'll just be a cat toy, and we just ruined this cat's day. Back up. So like, you don't. Pillage and plunder and and steal from innocent sometimes, people. Do you kill innocent I, I people? Do I mean, sometimes, but that's like a very side thing. It's like as a bit. It's like as a bit. I mean, if I kill an innocent person between you and me, Ignis, they weren't innocent. I think everybody everybody has been guilty at least a little bit. Our journey has exclusively been showing up to places where things are bad and making it less bad. Whether that be killing the bad people or curing them we're like have you ever seen kitchen nightmares um hold on what do you mean that you make things less bad well sometimes there's a curse you know how like we saved like star yeah sometimes it's like an that, evil or a curse but or a <laughs> dad and we take care of it <laughs> you couldn't make this place worse i mean we have we're on rock bottom to put it Bluntly. Is that like a joke? Is that a joke? Is that a joke? Because you got a rock bottom? Who you think you think because I'm made out of a rock, a stone, I can't make rock jokes? I mean, yeah, it's just it just feels a little on the nose. I thought it was funny. Sorry, it's like <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. Am I uh, uh playing into 
stereotypes of Earth Genasi right now. I mean, I guess it's fine if it's you, if you're doing it. Like, do I do any Triton? Like, is there any like Triton stuff I do that's kind of weird? I mean, yeah, I guess like you know, if anybody's allowed to, it's you. Sometimes I flop around because I don't know how to make them laugh anymore. So I just get on the deck and I flop like a fish. I think you should come on the ship. <sighs> It'll be a criminal. Everyone will think you're a criminal, which is completely different than being an actual criminal. Obviously. And it's mostly only in the eyes of a corrupt government. Yeah. He stops for a second as you guys are walking, and I'm going to say that you, at this point, get to the edge right before you're about to cross like a bridge uh, into this mushroom-filled... It looks noxious and dangerous, but it's a mushroom-filled forest. Um, or a forest of mushrooms. And he stops at this moment and says, You know, I've heard on the other side of the world there is this massive volcano and i guess i've always wanted to see it look you know what if you get my people all of them after our ceremony here in our homeland get them out of here with your teleportation shit that you should have mentioned like two nights ago <laughs> dude we forgot <laughs> just stop the mind i'm sorry get them out of here and i will be forever in your debt even if that means sailing into a hole and then to a volcano if you don't want to sail into the hole, you don't have to come with us. Yeah, you don't have to do that part. Yeah, you could just like you could just like stay on the island, like on reserve. So yeah, chances of dying like increase hup, significantly. Go hup, hup. And then they go down a little bit once we go to the volcano and jump into that. Let me pose it to you this way: Do you need someone like me? Hmm. What are you? What are your skills? This is an interview now. Um. Re really? Right? Right now? You've seen what? I mean, like um. No, describe yourself in three sentences. What are your what are your uh, what are your three positive attributes about well, yourself? Well, I'm an absolute hunk of a beefcake. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and okay. uh, that's one sentence. Just writing this down. I'm um, yep. an insanely mm -hmm. well trained soldier that was meant to uh -huh. protect and guard an entire city with a, 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 mm -hmm. a infantry mm -hmm. underneath my command. And how'd that go, dude? So can you explain this gap in your resume? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we need somebody like you. You're you're a good guy. I don't know. You have a lot of men in your crew already. Yeah, but like you're really cool. I think we get along. I don't know. <laughs> you know, Chip, the city was uh, the capital was under peace for my entire lifetime, so I say it went really well until the sea turned black. Oh, so you never really like saw like a war like battles? I mean, like any soldier, we were trained for many, many hypotheticals. You, you said you were trained at one point as well, right? Right, right. But like, you know, obviously I've been through a lot now. Look, I, I was just messing with you. And I, yeah, of course we want you on the crew. I think. Are you backing out? <laughs> no, I was messing with him when I said it. So how did that go? I said what I said. Free my people from this item, from this seat, with your magic. And I will follow you to my last breath. We'll make it happen. And hey, with somebody like you on the crew, someone will remember to mention the teleporter in the future. <laughs> and that's where we in the session. Do I have a fucking bald spot right here? Dude, <laughs> what are you set? Wait. What do you mean? No, I don't Does think that so. Look like a, Is that like a, a dude? Are you experiencing bad <laughs> pattern male baldness on our podcast right I'm now? I'm freaking the fuck out right now. I'm sorry. Dude, wait, it's just Roy they're making us bald. I need to stop my recording. As always, at the end of the episode here, I'd like to give a big shout out and a big thank you to our $50 tier patrons. And I will do so in the voice of our favorite tiefling. <laughs> Scamper, Lightning Deathbringer, That Rare John, Esophago Gastro Dual Denoscopy, Jesus Bree, It's Albert, Tin Tunu, William B. Wombo, Insomnia Draws, Zen and Scythe, Kelly the Raccoon, Goodest Lad, Agar Steeljaw, Mr. Anderson, Tin78, Mephobia Man, Aaron Moment, Mr. Magic Fingers, Water Lenny, Alistair Susie, Bro Derek Motif, Final Fan, Faluash, Certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy, To Be Determined, The D&D &D Group, Haribo, That One Person, Alderic, EMT3, Emperor Pengu69, Erica Moon, Kojo O, It's a Finna, A Pirate with Gout, Mr. C, Nova Sink, The Game Hunter, Teeny Ghosts, Willistrator, 
It's C Fresh. Me forever, mate. Stoosh Dude. Sarazaku. Charlie Darling Songbird. Eclipse 1680 Gaming. The Overlord. Bazozo. Queen Gibson. E Kofu. Cadis Betis. Epicris. Kaylin. Leftover Rice. You will rue the day. Hmm, Burger. Titan Storm. Jonathan Bleak. Luke Ramboo. Thomas Pierce. Lemon Leviathan. Beebinus, Dapper, Ruth the Banana Duck, Unstable Chaotic Cracker, Hollow Headed, Trite Metal, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, O Kerberos, Colin the Bard, Flu Flea Boo, I'm Bud Flussing, Beans, Popper in a Spacesuit, Cribwin, Walfie, Jades 2604, Joey Madness, Pippin the Alchemist, Mega Sionex, Tane Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka 7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, F Bomb 02, Amber Curry, Robert Gangwer, Chilean Vibe Strider, Man Made Imp, Mage W, Jordan Darling, I Am in Your Walls, Abby, Katie, and Elliot, Sam and Ducky, Sahara Lestor, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Sammy Bao the Second, Kev Senpai, Bisley's Burger, Finn Rua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, Narwhal Shellfish, Derpy Tricks, Geekly Legend, Grovens, Zero Codex, Deathclaw, Sandy 007, William Smith, Apple, Soul of a Pet, Big Man Christian, Blue Blim Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Obligatory References, Christ on a Sin, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Expoogaloo, Jacob Martinez, Kirby Wafro, Sylvie Soul, Bionicle D&D, Jason the Fricker, Teddy Love Bites, Anko, you know we loon, Gillian's biggest fan, <laughs> the godly king, Cornea Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Charm of the Bard, Raiko Kurotu, Kitsune, Non Zolotl, Asteria Nix, George Benji, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWR Androya, Divinator, and finally, J. Newell. Thank you all so much for listening, and I really hope you enjoyed this episode and all the twists and turns that have been in the latest episodes and the episodes that are coming up. Working real hard to flesh out the world more, the story, and just make sure that we are telling something entertaining, compelling, funny, interesting, and just, you know, all that good shit. So, really, your support means the world. Uh, thank you guys so much, and bye.